Hello sunshine, this is Joy from Michigan in the US and today I'm going to do a repour on this 10 by 20 inch canvas. It was okay, I didn't love it. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and repour over it and see what we get. I'm working in earth tones today, mostly with a couple accents. Uh, black and silver, permanent black, I have titanium white. This is ultramarine blue. Color Shift by Deco Art and Emerald Flash, not by Deco Art, pardon me, by Folk Art. And then I have this lovely, lovely Fire Opal by Folk Art Treasure Gold. I might throw in a little bit of this. This is just a bunch of paints that I mixed together that were left over. So it's a metallic orange. I need about 10 ounces of paint. This is a 16 ounce cup. I have that or I have a nine ounce cup and I, I don't wanna to have too little paint. Actually, you know what? Let's use the nine ounce. I changed my mind just like that, guys. I can add some black to the edges to make sure the whole canvas is full. So, all right, I think we're gonna start with this fire opal right in the middle. I love this color, it's just beautiful. And then we're gonna go right to that emerald flash. Ooh. Well, that's why I don't like these bottles. I'm going to put this in a different bottle at some point. And then from that to the blue. I don't have a lot of the blue and I think that I just put a chunk in there. I don't have a lot of the blue and I don't have a lot of the emerald flash, so those will be interesting to see what we do with the rest of those. Let's put some black and silver. And then let's go back to this fire opal. do emerald and these are colors my daughter helped me pick out I felt like I was kind of falling into the same old colors for every single pour and so I asked her to help me pick out something that's different than what I normally do so she told me to avoid blue which is pretty accurate so I can't really argue with her on that one I'll throw in some white back to the blue which I should have stored upside down, clearly. And then we're gonna go back to the metallic black.
different stuff going on but I'm loving all of it so I'm gonna mix up some flow extender which is just black plus a little bit of water get it around my edges because the paint will roll over itself without that and I don't want to lose like this edge here is just fantastic this over here I want to keep what I have so I'll be right back after I put some flow extender down all right guys back with you I may have made my flow extender a little bit too watered down but we're going to hope that's not the case. All right, guys, we had a slight mishap. I was stretching the canvas and it nearly fell out of my hands, but I think we've salvaged it. So here is the final piece. I'll give you a close up and then watch for the dried results at the end of this video. And sorry for the reflection. That fire opal is so pretty. I've got that little bit of outlining on the blue there. That section is so pretty. Lots to look at. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. I will see you on the next one. All right, here is the dried piece. This is my preferred orientation, but for the purposes of this video, we're gonna go ahead and just switch it to horizontal so you guys can get a better look at it. It dried really, really nicely. My blues are showing up brighter on camera than they are in person. So hopefully when I add a little bit of varnish to the, that, these blues over here will really pop because I just love, it's very subtle. It's almost like there's a secret in this corner and you don't, you don't catch it if you're not watching for it. So, and especially down here, it's such a deep blue next to that black that you could miss it if you're not paying attention. 
That's that color shift green along with the fire opal. I really love this section right through here. My husband told me his favorite part of this. He, he really likes this piece, but this black, solid black line, he really loves that. It just stands out and really adds a lot of visual interest. And then we have this like waterfall here when you look at it this way, down into a little pool. So yeah, very happy with this one. Let me know what you guys think and would you display it horizontally or vertically?